All right, everybody. Well, happy Wednesday. Let's go ahead. Uh, let's get into the chat or the app. See what we are doing today. And before we say anything before that, let's go ahead and make sure we have our water close to us so we can pound some water while we work out. All right, everybody. So we're gonna start off with one minute of cardio today, and then we are gonna move right into, I feel like something's going wrong right now. Let me look at the, at the workout really quick. This feels very uh, familiar. Um, let me check something really quick, you guys. drink some coffee right now for a second. <laughs> All right, good. I'm on point. All right. So after we're done doing that full minute of cardio, we're then going to go right into 12 jumping jacks, 12 lunges. That'll be six per side and then 12 glute bridge ups. All right. So treat the last four minutes as, you know, some mobility, you know, stretching, holding positions like the lunges, the bottom of the lunges um, and those glute bridges if needed. And just remind yourself that we're warming up. Okay, we're just warming up. Don't really have to push yourself, but just keep that body moving. All right, everybody. Well, let's get this cardio kicked off. Give me a thumbs up if you guys are ready. All right, here we go, guys. One full minute. Three, two, one, and begin. All right, you guys. So we're going to kick off our Wednesday, 28th of July. And we're here because we mean business. So I want to acknowledge something really quick, you guys, is that it's Wednesday. It's early in the morning and you're up. You did it. You got up with intentions to take care of yourself. And here we are. So you're already doing it. Good work. All right, you guys, we have 20 seconds. All right, we have 20 seconds. And then we're gonna move into 12 jumping jacks. 10 more seconds. All right, here we go, everybody. Get yourself set. Three, two, one, and begin. So jumping jacks, everybody, 12 of them. We can see jump and spread those legs and slap those arms overhead or we can step side to side keep those abs tight and then once we're done with that 12 lunges so six on the left six on the right we can do a reverse lunge we can do stationary lunge we can do walking lunges but whatever you do we're going side to side or changing alternating sides and then once we're done with that, we're gonna take it to the floor. We're gonna get 12 glute bridge ups. All right, so having a thought when we're starting our cardio. And sometimes, you know, when you wake up and you start to move, you're like, man, I just gotta just, you know, fill in the blank, gotta, gotta move in a certain way. I was gonna say, just because we're doing a minute of cardio doesn't mean that you have to just do a minute of cardio. You can maybe do two minutes, you know, and you just kind of jump in uh, a minute later into whatever else we're doing. So just to put that out there, if you're feeling like you just want to move a little bit more or get that heart rate up a little bit more. So, all right, now glute bridges, nice little pause at the top, right? Feeling that weight, shift to your shoulders a little bit. But the big part is feeling those hip extended. Squeezing those glutes. Now, when it comes to the lunges, you can definitely feel free to grab onto a door frame if you feel like you need to, that to assist you to get a little bit lower. Because ultimately, I'd love everybody to get those back knees to the floor, make sure that, you know, that front foot or that shin is vertical so it's straight up and down. And then once we're done with those glute bridge ups, let's go right back to jumping jacks. All right. 
Good work. Good work. So in this moment, you know, you can do this out loud. You can just do it in your head. But let's start to think about three things that you're grateful for today. They don't have to be super grandioso. They could be something that you just maybe you don't think about on a daily basis that, you know, if you didn't have, you know, fill in the blank, man, I'd, I'd be totally bummed out. Or maybe there are something that sticks out to you, but uh, definitely verbalize it or just say it in your head. You know, maybe three things, recognize three things that you're super grateful for today. <clears throat> All right, we have a little bit less than a minute. So one of the things that I was acknowledging today and uh, kind of some of my morning time this, earlier today was that I really enjoy having my, like my quiet time in the morning. Um, when I get up, nobody else is up. So the house is super quiet and it's just quiet. And it was funny because yesterday I got up and had some other errands I needed to do. And I didn't do what I normally do every morning. And it was funny how it totally kind of threw me off a little bit because I really do like that quiet time in the morning um, before my day kicks off. So today I was like, man, I really am grateful for that time in the morning. All right, guys. Almost there. Five more seconds. And three, two, one and rest. All right, so what we'll do today, guys, if you guys feel like sharing, what we'll do is I'll have you guys go into the chat and share at least one of your top three things, what you're grateful for today. And if you're still sitting on that and thinking about it, still sit on it and think about it. And when you're ready, we'll go ahead and put it into the chat. But we'll talk about our body weight pump next, and it's gonna be for six minutes. And we're really going to just do two movements and we're going to go back and forth every other minute. So we're going to do slow dead bugs for 50 seconds. And then we're going to do diamond push-ups for the next 50 seconds. And so we have about a 10 second time in between to rotate and get ready for the next minute. So I'm going to go over our dead bugs. You know, we've done a lot of these dead bugs. So I know a lot of you guys are familiar with it, but just as a little reminder, you know, get those knees up. If I was to come over and push on your knees, you would be pushing to get to my hand. That's how tight they are. Um, and we're kind of coming up here with a little bit of a crunch. And we're just going to go side, big pause at the bottom to come up, pause at the top. And when it says slow dead bug, we just want to take our time. We don't want to go fast. And we want to glue or kind of really push that lower back against the deck every single time that we move so that we don't lose that, that connection with the floor. Now, when it comes to the diamond push-up, I always do this, I bring my hands to the, to the camera, is this is kind of what we're going for, and it's gonna to touch our, our chest, okay? Now that's too narrow, right? Because that is a narrow position. We can always just kind of go a little bit wider, okay? And we can go on your toes or on your knees, but ultimately what we want is we wanna come all the way down, chest is gonna to touch. And it's almost kind of like my stomach a little bit too, but it's mostly like my, my, my breastbone. I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna come up. So again, if I need to go on my knees, just to alleviate some of the tension, um, we can do that. Um, and then the other part is we can just go a little bit wider if we need to just, we, we want a narrow. Because what we're trying to do is we're trying to hammer those triceps a little bit more than we would on normal push-ups. Okay? So we're going to have six minutes. We'll go back and forth. So let's go ahead and get on our back. Okay? Can we start with some slow dumbbell, uh, slow dumbbell, slow dead bugs. Okay? All right. So here we go. In three, two, one, begin. So I, I wanna share a little bit about gratitude and why what we just did right there, you guys, is super, super important. Um, first of all, I think that we all can admit there are things in our life that we, we know that we're grateful for. Like we already just know that. 
Uh, we may not even say it, but we already know it. Well, there's something to it about acknowledging it. So either A, that's writing it down in a journal of ours. Um, another leveled up thing of doing is actually sharing it with somebody. So what we just did right now, you guys just leveled up your gratitude because now it, if you put yourself in a vulnerable scenario because you're sharing your feelings. Um, but what it does, three, two, one, and rotate. All right, let's go ahead, flip it over on your stomach. Now I'm thinking on this one, I don't know how this is gonna feel on your shoulders, John, but we could also do floor presses if that is helpful, okay? All right, push-ups, guys, and begin. Yeah, so if you were to lay on your back, yep, and you were to do floor presses, John, and you just tuck those elbows to your side, that's gonna hammer those triceps a little bit more than opposed to having those elbows out. Cool. Um, and so what the, the gratitude piece about saying it out loud, right, is subconsciously we are um, essentially benefiting it without even knowing with the joys that we um, have in our life. So anyways, it's just a big step to really acknowledge it because then sometimes we actually don't really, really realize how grateful we are for some things, even though we're like, oh, yeah, that's pretty, I'm grateful for this. But the moment that we uh, take time to pause and acknowledge it, three, two, one, and roll it on your back. All right, here we go. It's time for some bed bugs. Three, two, one, and here we go. So, in short, sharing your gratitude is a really big deal. Good. So remember, hands over your chest. Pressing through the to the ceiling, right? So you feel like you almost done a done a, a bench press, and then nice and slow, bring those one arm back at a time. There we go. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. Rotate. All right, everybody. Three, two, one, and begin. All right, so I'm gonna show with this a little, show you guys an answer. So Tina says that I am still showing up to work out after over a year. What, what? Absolutely, Tina. What's up, John? Oh. <laughs> I'm just doing my chat. Oh, cool, cool. Sorry. Um, all right. We got about 20 seconds, everybody. And then Karen says, this family. Nice, Karen. The amazing weather we're having. And then Epsom salt baths. So good. Karen's been doing Epsom salt baths since like 2009. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Three. Two, one, rotate. Now, as we're doing this, you guys really be careful that we don't flare those elbows out too far, that we want them in a more of an athletic position. Dead bugs and begin. Um, and then Leslie says, I'm grateful that John always does, his, does the dishes. I love waking up to a clean kitchen. Hey, that's cool. And then John says, family, health, and nature. Love it. All right, everybody, 20 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Actually, I say. Five, four, three, and rotate. Okay, so we got one more. We're gonna do those push ups in three, two, one, and begin. <clears throat> Good work, you guys. 
Remember, another option for push-ups could be on the couch, the edge of the couch. You could also do a narrow push-up on the edge of the couch. That's going to allow you to get that full range of motion so you can get your chest on the couch. So just a couple other alternatives. Okay, 10 more seconds. And three, two, one, and stop. Good job, you guys. Okay, check those arms out, move around a little bit, grab some water. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start leading us into our sweat workout, right? And we're gonna do two eight minute AMRAPs. So it means we're gonna work as much as we can in the eight minute time period. So we're gonna do 10 dumbbell quad crawls. Now that's gonna be a quad crawl with dumbbells. We'll go over that. We're then gonna go ahead and stand up and we're gonna do 10 alternating dumbbell snatches. And then we're gonna be doing a full minute of double unders or tall jumps or penguins. And then we're gonna, like I said, after we're done doing that for eight minutes, we're then gonna rest a full two minutes and then we're gonna go into another eight minutes. So we're gonna then gonna go into dumbbell quad crawls, Russian twists, and then a minute of cardio. So maybe start to think about what you wanna do for that cardio. So, all right, make sure you guys have two dumbbells. I'm actually gonna go grab one more dumbbell for my quad crawl. So as you're grabbing your dumbbell, I want you to start to think about the quad crawl. And it's almost like a bear crawl, essentially. It's like a bear crawl with dumbbells. Now, if using uh, dumbbells on your floor is not an option, then we can always get rid of those and we can do bear crawls. Okay, so the difference between a quad crawl and a, and a bear crawl, so this is gonna be kind of like a bear crawl. I'm just like, Rrr. Now quad crawl is actually, I'm gonna be a little bit lower to the floor. So notice that my knees aren't super close to the floor. Now they are. And I'm literally just gonna be doing small steps, everybody, right? Once I've done 10 of those, five per side, then I'm gonna rotate to the next movement. So let's do that real quick, just to make sure that we're all on the same page. And if you have any questions with that movement, we can. Now, if you have mats, right, those are also good options on your floor. So kind of give a whirl for that. And it's kind of a weird movement, but it's, de and it's definitely not a fast movement. And if you are on mats, you can go back, forward and backwards. If you want to do that also, here we go. And then the only thing that we would do different is if we're not going to use the dumbbells, you guys, we're going to do the same exact thing like the quad crawl I just demoed without the dumbbells. So again, make it nice and smooth, slow movement. All right, so let's go over the next thing we'll do is the dumbbell snatch. Now two options, we can take it from the floor or we can take it from the hang, but I'll go from the floor right now. So it's going to be on the floor, both ends of the dumbbells are going to be touching. I'm then gonna straddle the dumbbell. And from here, I'm simply gonna stand up and then I'm gonna kind of like, I'm gonna jump and I'm just gonna pull that dumbbell over my head. So my abs are tight, I'm lowering myself with my legs and I'm just gonna stand up and pull and punch that dumbbell overhead, right? So I'm using my hips and then I'm gonna go ahead and bring the dumbbell down, swap sides and do the same exact thing. All right, so let's do this, you guys. Let's go ahead and do about two to three of these per side, alternating, just so you get comfortable with this movement. Now, the other option, you guys, would be a hang. So you're essentially swinging it through your legs to go overhead. Now, the only reason I would bring a hang as an option is if I don't know, you know, going to the floor is kind of, it, it's hard for me at the moment. Like I'm just range of motion isn't there. Um, and the other one is, it's like, if maybe like my, my back is kind of bugging me right now, 
I'll take it from the hang. Now the hang is just another position and it's another position we train, but if you ever need an alternative, that's why I brought that up today, okay? All right. All right, so give me a thumbs up if we're good. Give me a question, give me a thumb. Yeah, all right, cool. If there's any questions, let me know. All right, okay. So the next eight minutes, we are going to be doing Russian twists. So that's just us sitting on the floor. Come to a balance if possible. And then we're just gonna go side to side. So hands are gonna be essentially in a prayer pose going side to side. If you need to have the heels on the floor, that's fine also. But again, we're gonna go side to side, hitting those obliques. All right. Well, I think, give me a flex if we're ready to rock and roll. That was good. That was good. That was 100% flexing. Sometimes I don't get it. All right, you guys, let's get set. We are gonna start off with 10 dumbbell quad crawls. Excuse me, so let's all get ourselves on the floor. All right, here we go in three, two, one, begin. All right, so just as a quick reminder, we're working here for eight minutes. We're gonna do 10 dumbbell quad crawls, so five steps each side. You're then going to be doing 10 alternating dumbbell snatches, again, five per side. And then we're going to be doing one full minute of jump rope, okay? And so what I'll do is once I start to see the first person start or finish with those snatches, I'm then going to start the clock. And I'll start to kind of spout out every 30 seconds so you can know where you're at for the jump rope. So once you guys are done with the, with the snatches, just give me a flex and I'll know when we're ready to start that clock. Er, all right. All right, three, two, one. And first cardio or jump rope begin. Now, if you're done, awesome. If you're not, still keep working but I'll just let you know where we're at every 30 seconds, all right? All right. Yep, yep, yep. We can penguin, we can jump rope, we can do whatever we want. All right, first 30 seconds is complete. I am happy to report that I brought a cup of coffee today to the gym and I didn't spill any of it today. So, <laughs> all right, 10 seconds. All right, keep it going, keep it going if you're jump roping. All right, three, two, one, and right back to those quad crawls. Awesome, you guys. Let's go 10 dumbbell quad crawls. All right. So then we have 10 alternating dumbbell snatches. Good work, good work. Give me that flex when you're ready. All right, we've started it. Yeah. That was good, Tina. <laughs> good, good. Let's get those jump ropes going. So I started at three. There we go. Keep it going. All right. So Tina, you're at 30 seconds. There we go. We're almost at 30, John and Leslie. 
All right, John and Leslie, you guys are at 30 also. Tina, you got about 15 seconds. I know. <laughs> All right, Tina, three, two, one, you're done. All right, John, Lester, you guys got 15 seconds. All right, Karen's back on the quad crawls. All right, <laughs> three, two, one, John and Leslie, you guys are ready to rock and roll. Dumbbell quad crawls. Okay. All right, everybody, we are over the halfway mark. Good, strong punches overhead, everybody. Big paws overhead. All right, yep, Tina, go for it. In like 15 seconds, we're going to start the next. There we go. All right. Tina, you're at 30 seconds. Good. Less than John, when you're ready, go for it. All right, Tina, five seconds. Three, two, one, and good. Okay, John and Leslie are at 30. There we go. Nice work, Karen. All right, Vashon Island, we got 15 more seconds. <laughs> Three, two, one, and you guys are done with that piece. All right, you guys, we got about a minute 10 remaining. All right, one minute. All right, let's start that jump rope. There we go, one minute left, you guys. Wherever we're at, let's keep pushing. Now, a reminder is we have two minutes after this, so we're gonna have time to grab some water, catch your breath. There we go. Here we go, 20 seconds. Five, four, three, and rest. Okay, we have one full minute. One, not one full minute. Don't listen to me. Two full minutes. Yeah, got to keep me. Got to keep me straight, Tina. <laughs> you know when you say something, you're like, that was totally incorrect. Why did I even say it? All right. Karen, you need to go get yourself a big fan, huh? <laughs> 
So I don't know. I, I think it sounds like it's been pretty awesome up where you guys are at. But yesterday was super weird. So we have, it's been like on a low day here, it's been like 93. Like it's a low 93 today, Mike. That's not low. Um, but yesterday it actually rained and it got down to like 65. And I was like, do I wear a sweatshirt today? You know, it's kind of funny. Yeah. And then eventually, you know, it's supposed to be 90 today. So <laughs> awesome. All right. We got about 30 seconds remaining. Good work, you guys. Remember, we got one more eight minute. And then we are done with this piece. All right, 10 seconds, everybody. We're going to start with those 10 dumbbell quad crawls. Here we go. Five seconds, everybody. In three, two, one. Here we go. All right, so we got those 10 dumbbell quad crawls. Now we're going to go ahead and do Russian twists. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get on our bums, lift those feet off the floor and then do 20 Russian twists. <laughs> you're like cat, you're in the way. <laughs> um, yeah, so after we're done doing those Russian twists, we're gonna do a minute of cardio. Going 20, so 10 per side. Again, going side to side, feet on the floor or not, your call. Good work, you guys. All right. There we go. Cardio's begun. So we're at, there we go. I'm thinking you started at 11. There we go. I got you, John and Leslie also. John and Leslie, you're at 30. Tina, I think you have about 10 seconds if I'm accurate. All right, and you're good, Tina. Good work. All right, almost there, Leslie and John. Three. Two, one, rotate. Oof. Good work, good work. All right. Dumbbell quad crawls, five steps per side. And then 10 alternating dumbbell snatches. I'm sorry, 20 rushes to it. Don't listen to that piece. All right, cardio, Tina. There you go. I got gotcha. you. Good job, you. Good job, you guys. Keep pushing it. Find those areas that you know that you can push and then coast or maintain the pace when you feel like you can hold that pace. And that could be the cardio piece. That could be the dumbbell quad crawls. Your call. Thirty seconds, Tina. Come on, keep moving. All 
All right, Tina, three, two, one, you're good. All right, Leslie and John, I think about 15 seconds. Come on, we're just moving, moving and grooving. And John and Leslie, you're done. Okay, you guys. Right back into those quad crawls. Good work, good work. There we go. And Tina, five more seconds. Three, two, one. And Tina, you're good. All right, you guys, two more minutes. John and Leslie, that is 30 seconds in. Good push, you guys. Come on. Keep it moving. 15 seconds, John and Leslie. And five, four, three. And John and Leslie, you are done. All right, guys, minute 15. Tina, here we go. Tina, you'll have time for the cardio and then your quad crawls. 10 quad crawls, 20 of those Russian twists, and then some cardio. All right, everybody, we got one minute remaining. So let's get as far as we can. Good work. Okay, 30 seconds. Come on, keep going. Tina, you got about 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Tina, you're good. Time for some quad crawls. All right, you guys, get as far as you guys can in that cardio. We got 10 seconds. Five, four, three and stop nice job you guys okay so as always there is a finisher at the end but what we're going to do today is we're going to spend some time mobilizing so we're going to put that into our regimen today all right so what i'm going to have you guys do is you know grab some water grab some water and uh Let's take it to the floor and we're going to spend some time loosening up. Okay. Now, the first thing that we're going to do, we've done this before, is 
We're going to go ahead, take it to the floor, and we're going to sit on the tops of our feet. Okay, all right? Now the heels are going to go outside your butt, right? You can just kind of widen that stance. And all we're going to really focus on is that we're going to stretch the quads and we're going to stretch uh, the muscles above your knees, okay? So there's all, all the quads, but it's going to be specifically releasing tension above your knees. And that's going to be step one is we're just going to be sitting hands on your quads. Now, if you feel like you feel like you have a little bit more range of motion, then we'll go ahead and take it back just a little bit. Now, another option for this, right? So let's go ahead and get in that position if you're not there yet. Another option would be to put your feet on a pillow. And what that would do is that's gonna elevate you up just a little bit, make it a little bit easier on your ankles if this is tight on your ankles, especially if you have a wood floor. Um, but yeah, it's gonna help you put yourself in the position because we definitely wanna be able to get in this position. If we can't get in this position, we need to figure out how we're gonna work ourselves to this way. And that's gonna be that pillow. Okay, we're gonna hang out here for again, total of two minutes. And then each time that goes by, just take a deep breath and then exhale and try to sink into that stretch just a little bit more. You can go a little bit further back, try that out. Is that doable, yes or no? If it feels like it's too stressful, you now walk yourself back up just a little bit. Okay, we got about 45 seconds. And just focus on that breathing. Big inhale. And exhale, out your mouth, fully relaxing. So now as you hang in that position, all I want you guys to worry about right now is just that breathing. So just start maybe and start to count. Inhales one, exhales two. Inhale, exhale. And just start to count your breath just to kind of embody this moment that we're staying in right now. Okay, let's take one more deep breath and exhale. And then we're gonna come out of it. We're gonna go right into what we'll call the lizard. All right, so the right foot's gonna go forward. Let that back leg just relax a little bit. Again, we're just gonna hang out here for a minute. And then we're gonna go right into the pigeon. Ten more seconds. So now what's going to happen is in about three seconds, we're just going to go to the side. Three, two, and let's go to the side. And we're just going to let that leg drop down. Now, normally, well, a couple different ways, right? My butt's not going to be on the, on the floor. My butt's actually going to be up a little bit as I'm leaning over my ankle. But we're just going to go ahead and just let it stay here, right? Sides to be on the ground. We're just going to lean forward. All right, we're just leaning forward towards that knee. Maybe if you wanna, you can even lean towards the ankle. That's gonna give you a little bit more of a stretch in that back, depending on the tightness of your back right now. But if you ever have, you know, back issues, one place to go to is the glutes. So upper glutes usually tend to be rather really tight when the back is tight. So we can start to stretch those upper glutes out. Okay, so we're gonna come out of there. We're gonna now put the opposite leg forward. Go right into that lizard again. One hand's gonna be on top of the foot, just kind of holding it down. The other hand's gonna be on the floor, just keeping yourself balanced and stable. <clears throat> so 
So this is really good for just kind of the inner thighs. Really where you're tight, you're gonna start to feel it the most. Hamstring, parts of your hamstring is a good spot. Okay, five seconds. We're gonna go ahead and drop to the side again. You don't wanna drop it yourself out of control, but just let that leg drop down. Let the back leg just kind of relax against the floor. And then grab that foot if you need to as we lean forward towards that knee, towards that ankle, whatever you're feeling you need the most at. Again, just take deep breath and exhale. Try to get yourself a little bit more into that stretch. Now let's go ahead and sit towards each other or face each other. Open up those legs. Reach in front of you. You can reach in front of you, you can reach out towards each foot if you need to. And again, just hanging out, letting yourself just fall forward. I'm gonna hang out here for two minutes and then that'll be us today, you guys. So I've talked about it before, but you know, as much as showing up and training each day is important, so is showing up and making sure that we mobilize, stretch, you know, the muscles that we're making tight, that we're taking care of our muscles that we're beating up. I say beaten up, but just for muscles to grow, we're gonna have little micro tears for micro tears to heal that's then when our muscles start to get bigger start to get stronger okay start to lean more forward if you're able to and challenge that a little bit nothing crazy but just a little bit All right, you guys, five more seconds. Three, two, one, and we're done. Nice job, everybody. Come on over, we'll do our little group photo, and then we will go ahead and continue our Wednesday. Okie doke, you guys. Let's get them blazing. Here we go. Three, two, one. And you're good. All right, you guys. Good job. Good job for showing up. Good job for being here. And have a good rest of the day. And if you guys need anything, let me know. Thanks, Scott. See Thanks, you Scott. guys. Have a good one.